still a good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. And first of all, I would like to thank uh, the organizer for inviting me and giving me the opportunity to be part of this event, which I can uh, present uh, the uh, Cambodian uh, telecom market uh, case uh, to the forum. Since uh, the time slot is uh, very uh, limited, uh, so I prepared this presentation uh, very uh, straightforward and just show you the key point and that uh, uh, what we have in Cambodia. So uh, Cambodia is a small and young nation uh, located in Southeast Asia, uh, border with Thailand, Laos, and Vietnam, with a population around uh, 15 uh, million. And uh, the GDP, the total GDP, uh, just uh, 18 uh, billion uh, USD, uh, and the growth rate uh, approximately uh, 7%. Uh, GDP per capita uh, just uh, 1,250 USD no only. So even though the, uh, Cambodia is a small country, uh, but uh, for uh, the telecom market, we uh, you know, grant a lot of license <laughs> to many companies. Like mobile uh, operator, we have seven uh, fixed line uh, we have eight. Uh, international carrier, we have three. Uh, backbone uh, network provider, we have three. ISP, we have 27. Uh, and 26 will be OIP uh, operator. Uh, we start with, unfortunately, this, we have only two. So, Cambodia, when we uh, talking about this, uh, you know, a telecom market. Uh, so it's a mobile uh, country, you can say. Uh, with a population of 15 million, uh, we have uh, over uh, 20 million of uh, mobile uh, subscribers, accounted for uh, 136, uh, 37 percent of the population. And also uh, the internet, uh, mostly uh, mobile. Uh, we can uh, calculate as a 42% uh, percent of the population. Uh, the increasing of this subscriber uh, just in the last uh, five years only. Uh, there are many uh, reasons, but uh, one reason is uh, is the price of uh, uh, telecom market is a uh, drop down, and the second one uh, uh, regarding to the internet also, we have uh, open connection to the east uh, through the Vietnam. Even though uh, we have many uh, players in the market, uh, but only the three big player uh, in the uh, uh, telecom market. Uh, I take only the mobile market only. Uh, it's uh, retail Cambodia, account for 44% of the market share. Uh, the second one is uh, Smart Asiata, uh, 27, and the third one is Ten GSM, uh, the local uh, investor. Uh, with uh, Cambodia, is come late to the market. While Plan GSM legacy is quite long time there, uh, but the reason why the uh, with Cambodia can gain uh, more market share in the uh, mobile market because uh, they set a strategy to go to the rural area and uh, provide with the. Uh, what we call the cheap uh, mobile device, and the second one is the rate per calling in the network is lower. So the people in the rural area they are 
enjoy with families and slowly get the again uh, big market share in the mobile market. But when we look at the internet, the internet market just in the few few years, last few years, it came to the six million. It's around uh, forty two percent of the population. It's a very fast. But here uh, you can see smart Asiata uh, took over. Smart Asiata, the reason why the uh, Smart Asiata get number one uh, is one, uh, Smart Asiata rolled out 4G LTE, and that's the first company that rolled out uh, 4G LTE. And the second one, Smart Asiata, they provide the, what we call the value added service like OTT and all that. And the third one, Smart Asiata, market segmentation, they focus on the youths. And the youths in Cambodia, they are happy with all this uh, OTT service rather than uh, voice service. So with this two slides, uh, you can realize that. So the voice still in the rural area, but uh, the OTT service uh, come to the city, and this will spread to the rural area in the coming year or in a few years. Backbone provider, as I mentioned earlier, we have uh, three uh, companies, uh, three company. Uh, so uh, we can say that uh, the backbone in the country is uh, adequate for our nation. Uh, right now, what we're waiting for is the, what we call the service the application uh, that uh, provide to the uh, user in the, in the rural area. But even though we have adequate network within the country, but we have a problem with the international connection. Uh, I will tell you later on. So regarding to the law and regulation in Cambodia, uh, we have uh, three main documents. Uh, one is the uh, ICT must Cambodia ICT Master Plan 2020, uh, which we uh, it came uh, to effective uh, by last year, uh, by by 2014 actually, the end of 2014. Uh, the vision of this uh, master plan is uh, to build uh, Cambodia uh, as the intelligent and comfortable nation by introducing uh, four such uh, trust, empowering people, ensuring connectivity, enhancing capability, and engaging service. And the second uh, document is uh, Telecom ICT Policy. Uh, we aim to uh, strengthen uh, Telecom ICT Development Foundation uh, by providing adequate uh, legal and regu regulatory framework uh, further developing, uh, develop uh, telecom uh, ICT infrastructure, bridging the digital gap, uh, digital gap and uh, promoting ICT illiteracy, literacy, and uh, develop a competitive ICT human resource. And the second, uh, enhance uh, ICT security and promote ICT industry. And the third one is promote. Uh, ICT application. And fortunate, uh, this uh, telecom law actually is start more than 20 years in order to develop this telecom law. Since 1996. And this telecom law, you know, finally we just adopt and come to effective just by the end of last year only. So, uh, aiming to ensure the effective and efficient use of uh, telecommunication infrastructure, network, and a service with high quality, security, and affordable that respond to the requirement of social and economic development of Cambodia. And to encourage and ensure the private uh, participation in uh, communication development to ensure fair comp competition uh, in accordance with the law and regulation 
to protect uh, consumer and uh, to mobilize uh, national review. As I mentioned in the early slide, even though we have uh, adequate infrastructure uh, within the country, uh, but we don't we have a problem with the international uh, connection. So in 2008, we grant a license to one company called uh, Tabletech in order to connect with the AAG, uh, Southern people. Uh, but this company delay and delay and uh, come very uh, pretty slow. And last year we have a witness uh, to sign the contract between Telecom Malaysia, Tabletech, and Symphony Thailand to build the MCT network which uh, connect uh, to the AAG and according to the report uh, from the company uh, they said they uh, will be on time to roll out this uh, project and I pray so and uh, just beginning of this month uh, we actually we grant a license since last year but at the beginning of this month, uh, the government uh, gave a contract. This, uh, this cover we we blow out the, the, the license to uh, Cambodia fiber cable communication network, uh, C4, in order to connect to the AAE1. And according to the plan, uh, they will uh, put uh, on uh, operation uh, by the second uh, quarter of a uh, second uh, semester of uh, next year. And besides that, we also have a plan uh, to uh, to do the uh, seven hundred megahertz harmonization. Uh, this one will be uh, start from uh, 2018 because uh, right now uh, this uh, 700 megahertz is occupied by the broadcasting. Uh, so we will replace uh, by this one uh, by using this one for our broadband uh, purpose. So that's the end of my presentation. Uh, for detail, all this law and regulation and all the figures related to the Cambodian market, uh, you can go to our website, mptc.gov.th, the fact sheet for all the telecom company, what kind of service, how many uh, uh, subscribers uh, in the fact sheet in our web sheet. Uh, website and also a uh, lot of regulation in, we post all in our website and for additional questions you maybe you can email to me or ask me right now thank you <laughs>